Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows, and if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create engagement campaigns for your future Facebook ads campaigns. So first of all, what is an engagement objective? Well, the engagement objective is designed to get more people to see and engage with your Facebook post or your page. So with this objective, you can create ads that one, boost your posts. Uh, this is post engagement, and this is what I'll be covering in this tutorial video. Um, number two, promote your page, so page likes. This is the objective you do if you wanna run a page likes campaign to uh, warm up your ad account. And these are the two that I mostly use the engagement objective for. And three, get people to claim an offer on your page. These are offer claims. And then number four, raise attendance at an event on your page, event responses. So what platforms and ad formats can you use with the engagement objective? Well, you can run the engagement campaigns on Facebook, Instagram, and the audience network, and you can choose the following ad formats in the engagement campaign. So you can do photo, video, carousel, and slideshow. And just a little side note, some ad formats may not be available for selection depending on the type of ad you create. So for example, if you choose to promote a page in the engagement objective, you can only create a photo, video, or a slideshow so you wouldn't be able to do like a carousel for a page likes campaign. So here's how to create an engagement objective campaign. I'm gonna go over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an engagement objective campaign. And for this example, I'll show you how to create a post engagement for the existing posts that we created in previous videos. And you can click the I button up there to watch how to create an existing post Facebook ad campaign. So anyways, I'm gonna get into this right now. Okay, so here we are in one of my um, ad accounts that I'm not really using anymore, and I just created, or I just clicked on create a campaign. So here we are, um, buying type, I'm gonna leave it at auction, and then I'm gonna come down here and click on engagement. And if you hover over the eye on any one of these objectives, um, it'll give you a little more information. So get more page likes, event responses, or post reactions, comments, or shares. So that's what the engagement campaign is for. It says it again right here. So engagement type. So if I was running like a page like campaign, I would make sure to choose that. If I did a, if I was like wanting to promote an event, I'd choose that. But I'm gonna do post engagement for the existing posts that we created previously. So I'm just gonna um, name the campaign ad set and ad real quick. All right, now I'm gonna click on continue. I just labeled all this examples because I'm not really setting up a campaign. I'm just doing a tutorial for you guys. The first thing that I would have to do if I was actually running this campaign for this car loan offer, I would have to choose special ad categories on. And you can click that I button up there to uh, learn more about what special ad categories are and when you have to choose them. But because I'm doing like a credit, because a car loan, you know, it says right in here, auto loans is part of this group. So I'd have to click that. And that would mean that my targeting would be a little more um, narrowed, like I wouldn't be able to zero in on like an age range or a gender and interest targeting is limited as well. So I'm just going to jump to the ad section because I already, I've already covered how to create um, ad sets and the uh, conversion objective. So right here we're on the third step which is the ad creation. So we have the ad named, the Facebook page, Best Products 101, that's my demo Facebook page uh, for my uh, YouTube tutorials, add setup, use existing post, and then I will select the post. And here it is right here, and then I'd click on continue. And one thing you may have noticed, if you've been watching my videos like as they come out, so in the previous video where I showed you how to create an existing post to use for Facebook ads, I had the ad description say, ready for a newer vehicle, get approved for an auto loan even if your credit was bad. And obviously you can't do that because that's uh, that'll break uh, Facebook's policies because you can't make assumptions like that. Like even if you have bad credit, I can help you get approved. You can't do that. So I just quickly edited the post and it, instead it says get approved for an auto loan today, all credit accepted. So that would get approved. But anyways, this is just an example. So then you would choose that or if you didn't want to use existing posts, you could create an ad. So everything's set up properly and that would be like, obviously I'd have to do my targeting and stuff like that, but this would be how simple it'd be. And then you could just come and click uh, publish. And one thing I want to throw out there, if you're running like a conversion objective campaign to like an auto loan offer and you have like your pixel set up and everything, 
You can run one campaign like normally for conversions. Then you could create another campaign for engagements just to get like your posts because this is a way to like social proof your uh, posts and stuff like that. So like if I was running an existing post, I could have one campaign for conversions and the second campaign would be for engagement and this would be the social proof campaign just to get as many likes, comments, and shares as possible because then on the main campaign when people are scrolling through and they see an ad that's got like over a hundred likes and a whole bunch of comments, they'll be more likely to stop on that ad and like either read comments or visit the landing page versus if the ad that you're using only had like one like and one comment. I've used this strategy before and I just wanted to throw that out there. It's a very powerful strategy. Um, social proof in general, like it's just so powerful. People like stuff that other people like. So anyways, that's how simple it is to set up an engagement objective campaign inside of Facebook ads. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like this video, comment if you have any questions and I'll try to get back to you ASAP. And lastly, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, come on, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.